CorelDRAW X3 provides six view modes to aid your work. Simple wireframe, wireframe, draft, normal, enhanced, and enhanced with overprints. You will learn to work with different versions in this lesson. Click View. You will see a dot on the left of the currently selected view. Let's change the view. Click Simple Wireframe. The Simple Wireframe view shows only the outline of your drawing. Other elements, such as fills, extrusions, contours, etc., are hidden. Your image will be displayed in monochrome. The simple wireframe mode lets you preview the basic elements of your drawing quickly. The wireframe mode displays outline and intermediate blend shapes only. Let's see what this looks like. Click View and then choose Wireframe. Here is the wireframe view. Now let's try another view. The draft mode displays fills and bitmaps with a low resolution. This mode lets you focus on the color balances rather than the complexity of the whole drawing. Click View and choose Draft. You can see the colors of the image in draft mode. Normal mode displays drawings without postscript fills or high resolution bitmaps. This mode can open faster than enhanced mode. Let's see what it looks like. Click View and choose Normal. Here is our image in normal view. Next, we will go to Enhanced Mode. Enhanced Mode is similar to Normal Mode. The difference is that PostScript fills, a high-resolution bitmap, and anti-aliasing vector graphics are included in this mode. Click View and choose Enhanced. The image in Enhanced Mode looks the same as it does in Normal Mode, but there are more editing options available. The Enhanced with Overprints mode is the most complete mode. It displays the drawings as they will be printed. This takes the longest to open and to be displayed on the monitor. You should switch to Enhanced with Overprints mode before printing out your drawings. We will cover the elements of this view in another lesson. Let's see our image in this mode. Click View and choose Enhanced with Overprints. Now that we have seen the image in all the views, let's learn about some more features of CorelDRAW X3. The ruler is an important tool when working with CorelDRAW. It helps you to draw, size, and align objects precisely. You can change the settings of the ruler. There are two ways to do this. One is to double-click the ruler. We will use the second method. Right-click the top ruler and select Ruler Setup. The first option we will look at is called Nudge. The Nudge setting affects the incremental distance of moving an object by using the arrow key. The default value is 0.1 inch. Super Nudge moves the object by 0.1 inch multiplied by a factor of your choice. Holding down Shift while moving the object with the arrow key engages this mode. Micro Nudge is activated by holding down Control while moving the object with the arrow key. This mode moves the object by 0.1 inch divided by a chosen factor. You can also set the measurement units for the rulers. Click the drop down arrow to the right of inches to see some of the measurement units available. If you want to use different units for horizontal ruler and vertical ruler, Uncheck Same Units for Horizontal and Vertical Rulers. Origin is the point where the horizontal ruler and vertical ruler intersect in the working window. Tick Divisions sets how many divisions you want per tick. These are the subdivisions of the chosen measurement unit. You can customize the scale of the ruler using a feature known as World Distance. This is useful when working with very large images. An example of a setting would be 1 inch equals 1 foot, which would help you in editing an image much larger than the working area. Click the Edit Scale button. If the unit of measurement is pixels, this button is called the Resolution button. Click the drop-down arrow to choose a preset scale. We will choose 1 to 8. You can customize the scale by typing a value for the page distance that will compare to the world distance value. 